If you want to possess pot, apparently you don't have to wait until December when I-502 becomes law. Many in the law enforcement community are now saying they're not going to go after anyone for minor mar marijuana possession starting today. Hannah Kim is here to tell us how it's all going to work. That's right, Matt. Starting December, the new law will allow adults 21 years or older to have up to an ounce of marijuana. But as far as many prosecutors are concerned, they're living by those rules starting today. I was not impaired at all. Rick Rodrigo says he was not high when a state patrol officer pulled him over for speeding weeks ago. But he does admit he had pot in his pocket. The whole fact that you're out of legal limbo. That legal limbo is now over. We identified about 175 cases and decided to dismiss them today. King County Prosecutor Dan Satterberg wiped clean all current and pending misdemeanor marijuana possession cases as long as it involved up to one ounce of pot. It's just the biggest sense of relief. Pierce County is also dropping about 50 marijuana cases ahead of I-502 becoming law in December. But what about the cops in the streets of Seattle? Are they on the same page? What people can reason reasonably expect is no enforcement. The King County Sheriff's Office more definitive with their answer saying they are no longer making minor marijuana arrests starting tonight. I think there are a lot of parallels between what happened here on Tuesday and what eventually happened in Prohibition uh, back in the 20s in the United States and it started state by state. The law enforcement community says they are learning to deal with this historic law. We're still looking at how that law is going to affect our department. Uh, because there's that conflict between state and federal law. I don't believe the federal government is concerned about the possession of under an ounce by adults. I think they're really concerned about the state of Washington getting into the business of licensing the growing and production and retail of marijuana. If the fight goes to the U.S. Supreme Court, it could take years. For now, Satterberg says he is siding with Washington voters. It's consistent with the will of the people. Seattle police say small amounts of marijuana possession have always been low on their priority, even before I-502. The bigger question is, will police officers be subjected to the same rules and be able to use pot? The answer right now is probably not, but the department says they're looking into it. In the studio, Hannah Kim, Q13 Fox News. Hannah, thank you, and lots of questions remain unanswered about using marijuana in our state, even after the passage of Initiative 502. You'll be able to carry an ounce of pot or marijuana-infused product but where you can buy it is another question. The State Liquor Board has until December 2013 to work out licensing rules. It's been flooded with calls the last two days from people interested in getting into the pot growing business. There will be no smoking in public or where cigarettes aren't allowed like non-smoking apartments. Now if you want to be a Seattle cop, current rules say you must be pot free for at least three years. Now if pulled over while sober and an officer smells your baggie of pot, he'll need a warrant to search your car. Now, if he thinks you're impaired, he can ask to have your blood drawn as well.